my dear friend imagine that you ordered for this gorgeous dress right here and you got delivered this right here my dear friend what would you do i will be in the comment section below waiting on your comments so kindly type your comments in the comment section i want to hear your reactions in the comment section below hi guys welcome back again to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you're good i hope you're fine and i hope you are fantastic this video is another video and i'm really excited about this video today i would be talking about what i got versus what i ordered and i would also be sharing tips on how to order for outfit online from fashion vendors online and how to copy a style that you have admired okay so i will be talking about these things i will be analyzing some pictures that i got online from what they ordered and what they got so guys this is going to be an interesting one if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe it is completely free to subscribe and click on the like button too as well so guys let us delve into this video immediately now looking at this first picture i <laughs> Guys, let us let us just assume that um, this um, person that ordered for this dress gave this dress to a fashion designer, gave this style to a fashion designer. That a fashion designer should make something like this for her, okay? Because I can't, I I don't want to believe that the person that made this dress would now make something like this. Guys, are you feeling what I'm feeling? Are you? following me um but let's just assume for this particular picture that the person that made this dress was not the person that made this made this one and this woman right here gave this fabric and showed a fashion designer um this style to make for her now looking at this style you can see pink you can see blue looking at this combination my people you can see that it seems that the fashion designer or the tailor has color blindness i'm sorry to say this but i need to be blunt right here it seems that the person has color blindness how do color uh, blue and light pink go together she did not even combine it well oh maybe she's trying to do color blocking maybe she should go and learn about color blocking before venturing into it because this right here is a total mess look at the skirt part the down part of the outfit a total flop look at the person said i want you to make me a corset this right here in the real picture is a corset beautifully fitted nice silhouette but look at what this person is making right here a bustier no waist fitting nothing this is a complete trash guys a complete one a big mess i don't even want to continue rambling about this but guys this is a complete trash and my tip number one is for you to give a good fashion designer that has made previous styles before and has made it well okay let me explain what i'm saying if you desire a style you find a style on instagram for instance or pinterest and you want you you want to make that style you need to take that style the picture to your fashion designer and ask your fashion designer can you make this style for me if your fashion designer says okay yes i can make it i can make it because that's how most fashion designers say most not all what you need to ask next is that have you made styles like this before if the person says yes can i see pictures if the person provides you with pictures of this style or something similar then you can still have some trust in that fashion designer but if the fashion designer did not provide you with pictures and is making out that i can do it i can do it my dear run Pack your slippers on your head and run. Leave that shop immediately because the person is going to damage your fabric. And especially if the fabric is now an expensive one. Oh my God, it's a complete, it will turn to a complete mess. In fact, trash. In fact, shit. So that's my number one tip. Now let's look at another picture. Wow, this 
blew my heart away. My heart is flying away. My heart come back. This is so gorgeous. Look at the original version. So beautiful. I love the red lipstick. So the person rebranded or would I say um, added more creativity to this outfit. Look at what she got. Although the fabric is not the same, similar fabrics, not the same, but this person made a good job, did a good job. The appliques are not the same, but they are making sense. They're even more beautiful than the original one, guys. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. I'm even liking the fabric of what she got than the one, the original. I'm liking the fabric. This makes sense. This is what we are talking about. This is creativity. This is it. Now, moving on to my second tip, your tailor, that tailor that you have might not be good for the style. Trust me. Not every tailor can make all styles that you see online. So you might take your style to your tailor and say, I'd make this one. See, your tailor might not be able to make it. Just understand that. Have that understanding in your mind that not all tailors can make it. Your tailor might have made beautiful outfits for you, but make sure that whenever you show your fashion designer or your tailor a style, ask them if they can make the style. Don't just decide for them, okay? So that's my second tip. Now guys, moving on to this next picture right here. Wow, this is also gorgeous. This is also very good. The model looks curvy. She looks shapey. Although I, I, I posture also made her look shapey, but I believe she's shapey too as well. And what she got, wow, so beautiful although different fabrics but this is so beautiful and so unique now my third tip is that you should give your fashion designer a similar fabric okay because there are some fabrics that might not make that style that you want you saw a beautiful style online and you feel that okay the fabric i have can make this style ah auntie hmm it might not make it though. The fabric, the style that you are seeing online might be made with a softer fabric or a luxurious fabric. And the fabric that you have at home might not be as luxurious or as soft as that. So make sure you find something similar or make sure you consult a person that knows about it. Okay, consult a friend or a designer that knows about fabric so you know ask them can this fabric make this this fabric that i have at home can it make this style okay so those are questions that you need to ask so moving on to another uh, uh picture wow this is also good guys i'm thrilled because um tell us some fashion designers especially nigerian fashion designers they are changing the narrative look at this what i ordered versus what i got very beautiful the outcome is even much more beautiful than the original the appliques made a lot of sense okay the appliques made a lot of sense now that takes me to my fourth point do you know your body shape do you know your body shape if you don't know your body shape i have a video where i talked about your body shape so you can click on the link you'll be seeing the link on your screen click on it so that you can have an idea about your body shape because some models are curvy the model that you're looking at the sh a shape might be completely different from your own shape so it is very essential for you to know your body shape and choose a model or a style that suits your body shape. Not that you, your body shape would be a squared body shape or a rectangle body shape and you are now seeing a beautiful design on a model that is a figure eight. And you now take that style to your fashion designer and you are now threatening your fashion designer to make that style for you. Ha, how will it work? It cannot work. It cannot work. So that is why you should have some information about your body shape, about different types of body shapes. Uh, we have different body shapes. We even have banana body shapes, different. So it's best you look at the model, look at her very well closely. Does she have the body shape that I have? Can my fashion designer make something like this? 
even though she does not have the body shape i have can my fashion designer make this style into something that would fit my body shape those things are very essential very essential questions that you need to ask so that your story would not land on those platforms that tag what i got versus what i ordered okay your story will not land on that because people will just laugh at you they will use it to do yeah yeah they will laugh at you they will jeer at you mock you so if you don't want that it's best you follow and abide by these tips and i'm sharing with you now now moving on to another outfit um what i ordered versus what i got wow this looks this looks okay um the sleeves is just a total no-no the sleeves is a no-no if you see what she ordered the sleeves is like this she this lady right here looks like um a turkey you know how turkeys um extend their feathers or peacocks extend their feathers and they are walking like this majestically and that's how she looks in the original but what she got does not look like that she's looking like a turkey that was drenched in the rain a turkey that was thoroughly beaten by the rain so the feathers of the turkey is now shrinked that is how our sleeves are looking our sleeves are looking shrunk guys this is she did not but she tried but she did not really get the style for me moving on to another one oh my god this is a total mess this is a complete mess <laughs> How would you order for something as beautiful as this? And you see that the model is a slego and you went to order for it. Hmm. Oh man, this is a complete, a complete mess. I don't know, maybe, um, wait, can I say something? Um, this person right here, the, the tailor or the fashion designer give her this corset belt to wear with the outfit or did she make the corset belt together because me i don't understand though this is a complete mess a big one mm. i don't have any things to say about this but guys let us move ahead guys moving on to this picture as you can see um she ordered for this well tailored skirt suit beautiful gorgeous what she got is a complete mess ah this thing looks like a suit that was bent down to pick if you understand what i'm saying <laughs> it looks like a second hand clothing that was not washed that was not cleaned you know it looked like something that she just picked and wore this is a complete flop this looks like something that was thrown in the dustbin i don't believe that she got this response i do not believe this guys because this is an eyesore Come on, let me switch because I don't want my eyes to be wounded. Ah, my eye needs to be seen clean, clean things, I beg. Okay, guys, moving on to this next gorgeous one. Wow, what she ordered. Um, I like this style, very beautiful. And what she got, wow. You see, this is what I call creativity. A fashion designer should be able to copy with sense. Eh? copy with sense don't copy word for word that is what makes you a designer that is what brings out the creativity in you that's what makes you stand out this fashion designer has done really well by you know bringing something different i love the um the the, the detailing you see the detailing makes a lot of sense it's beautiful and the lady that rocked this outfit also rocked it very well with a nice posture so guys i'm going to talk about another of my tip which is to pose like the model pose like the model okay take good pictures the model puts a foot uh forward you to put a foot forward even post more than the model so that uh you would love yourself you would feel yourself some people because the clothes is not what they actually wanted or maybe something similar and they are discouraged they'll just wear the clothes and look so shabby <laughs> in the clothes so um whenever you buy a clothes and maybe it's not as similar as what your fashion designer had 
uh, as it's not as similar as the style that you showed your fashion designer try to iron it try to wear it try to post like the model maybe it might click in a way <laughs> so that's another tip okay now guys look at this one this is a complete flop ah when you are saying flop f l o p this is it this is it right here guys are you seeing what i'm saying are you pondering what i'm pondering how would you order for a red dress as gorgeous as this i don't is this a dress or a two-piece as a symbol this is so gorgeous how would you order for red and you get white ah, ah. is she going to the mountain to pray or what is all this this is a complete mess i don't blame the lady for putting her hands on her head because what is what i'm seeing right here is completely trash guys that brings me to my next tip which is look at the vendor take time to make sure that the vendor that you are ordering this thing from is a genuine one no take time to check the instagram account or the social media platform of the person is this person real is this person genuine guys i was scammed on instagram oh don't 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 uh, 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 uh go kit guys you can easily be scanned on instagram so you have to make sure that the vendor the fashion vendor that you are patronizing is a genuine one check through their instagram comments check through their followers are they real do they have um, um clients response do they do you understand check these things because this one that i'm seeing right here is not a couture this is not a this is a ready-made outfit so she ordered for this from a fashion vendor online and she got this in response so guys you need to be very careful of the fashion vendor that you are ordering from now moving on to another beautiful picture guys look at this this is creativity look at now this is wow this is what i'm talking about she ordered for this and she got this i believe that she went um nancy isime is her name she's a uh, presenter she's an oap um i believe that she went straight to the designer the person that designed this outfit and she told the person that i want you to make similar outfit for me but i want it to be more unique okay and that is what she got she has the money to pay now she has the coin so this is a complete one this is a standing ovation like this deserves a standing ovation guys this is very unique very beautiful the left the right both make sense original and the aftermath both make sense what i got what i ordered what i ordered what i got everything in all makes a lot of sense now guys moving on look at this um jumpsuit she ordered for this jumpsuit and she got this in response uh this looks <sighs> really well <laughs> Uh, I believe that this is not an accurate measurement. That is why it is very essential for you to send your accurate measurement to the fashion designer. You might not have a tailor that you can easily meet face to face. You might want to order for what you saw. So the fashion designer may be telling you to send your accurate measurement. So make sure you send your accurate measurement. Don't go saying, eh, I think my measurement is this. I think my measurement is that. No, make sure that you go to a tailor, you measure yourself and you send it to that fashion designer that you want to make your outfit for you. Make sure you send accurate measurement because there might be a misunderstanding with that. Okay, so it's very vital. Now, guys, moving on to another um, picture. Look at this now this is a complete mess how would you order for this corporate and chic um uh, outfit and you will now be getting this mess this is a complete mess this color is about wine wine color it's a complete mess guys <laughs> hey make i jump and pass them because ah now guys look at this one she ordered for this lovely um this lovely cloth this lovely pant suit and look at what she got this is <laughs> this is just too bad 
although the, the fashion designer tried with the appliques you know but the fashion designer did not get it at all the, the, do you know what's for this fabric this design the fabric the fabric of the of the the pants okay the fabric is is zero fabric the fashion designer tried but did not use good fabric and this may be as a result of low payment that is that brings me to my point another point my eighth point make sure you pay complete money and pay complete money and don't over bargain or overprice the uh the 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 the, the style that you want or the fa or the cloth that you want it is your own clothes you are going to enjoy it so stop overpricing like this lady right here maybe the lady has overpriced the outfit you know and she, she the fashion designer said okay no problem i will work based on the money you sent on me and the money that you sent to her is not even enough to buy quality fabric so you get what you paid for so it's very vital for you to pay good money even if you want to price but don't overprice it okay don't it's very good for you to pay the actual money that the fashion designer requests you of because at the end of the day you the, the fashion designer will be accountable he or she will be accountable to you because you have paid the money you have paid in full so that's another tip for you now guys look at this other one let me take two more pictures um <laughs> wow this lady ordered for this gorgeous one right here look at what she's getting this is this is not right this is really not right but she tried she tried in all she tried but the feathers the feathers just it just it just don't make sense the feathers just don't make sense and <laughs> this is what i'm saying i've been saying this so now guys moving on to the last picture of today how would you order for this and get this in return are you serious are you kidding me are you kidding me this person that is wearing this outfit is a top comedian in nigeria i believe that she would sue this fashion designer she should sue the fashion designer asap how would i order for this are you giving me this ah oh, hey it is well with my soul all right guys i'll be rounding up this video right here subscribe once again like this video click on the like button i would 